Alright guys, welcome back. Today we have another drift event. We are going to Kill Care once again for Drift Indie Street League Part 2, which is actually a tandem competition. So of course, we're taking the G. We got it all loaded up. This thing eats everything. It's got two tires in the back seat, a tent, a lawn chair, sleeping bag, air mattress, and then let me pop the trunk. But uh, yeah, I got my helmet up here. Right, we actually got plenty of room to spare. This is why you buy sedans instead of coupes. But uh, yeah, we got uh, some new tires up on the front, Federal RSRR, which uh, are a lot grippier than before. Sadly, it's supposed to rain, I think, all day. So we might not even be able to use those, but I'll throw my XT7s up front if I have to. And then these have just some Iron Mans on them, which I'm excited to try out. I've never used those before. So, I think that's about it. I haven't really done much on the car that's new other than, um, let's see. I've been dyeing a few interior pieces gray. And I just did these today. But uh, yeah, other than that, I don't think anything's really changed since the last drift event. Just uh, some new tires. But um, yeah, we got a little convoy of people leaving, so we're gonna go meet them and then we will head to Ohio. over there? Yes. It's like the word moist. Moist. Damn, that's bad. Did she put Ling in the leather second couch? Uh -huh. <laughs>
through our numbers. We're number 30, so we're paired up against Drake from Breaking with the RX-7 over there. But um, yeah, I'm excited. It should be a really good battle, and uh, he's a super good driver, so who knows what'll happen, but at least the cars will look cool.
Aaron for flipping my tires for me. Oh, no you got it. What do you want to plug? You got Instagram, Facebook? Uh, yeah, I have an Instagram, Punishment Motorsports. I'll link that right here. And you, Austin. Hey, this, guy, this guy takes all the cool photos. What's your stuff? Uh, Austin Hannibal. Easy. <laughs> Uh, here we go, we gotta go to the next bottle here. This is Drake Bianski, Indianapolis, AKA Derek Bianski's brother. Yeah. Same car, pretty much, but yeah. of course, a uh, little bit different driver. Drake Bianski, a little bit younger than his older brother, the legendary Derek Bianski, been driving for a while. And then of course you got Connor Lawless chasing him. This is uh, Connor's first, or uh, th third time driving, rather, uh, second comp. Uh, he, he's done a lot of changes to his car since the last uh, last couple of events. So I added some angle, added a couple things. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, he, he's actually part of uh, Final Bouts Media. Yeah, 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 dude. Yeah, yeah, he is, absolutely. Uh, old enough to not drink. The kid's 20 years old. Oh, wow. He's out wow. here uh, in, in a competition. Being 20 years old. So <laughs> that's, that, awesome. that's just a, a, a cool. <laughs> Yeah, Connor Wallace, man, he just uh, he just has that that spirit of drifting. Great guy, Garage Thirty Three. Check him out. Uh, he's always putting out some videos and media, and then he's on YouTube as well. I, I watch his YouTube uh, videos when he drops them. So check him out on the YouTube. Didn't he like have six hours to put together like a whole hour? No, I think I think he us. I think he just like did it. That was absolutely not. Yeah, like that's well, a the last street league. He put out like an hour video of us just doing dumb stuff on track. <laughs> so that that was awesome. He wasn't even to Wisconsin yet. Oh, no, no. But uh, he Michigan, definitely Michigan, got out Michigan. to that first outer zone, I would say. Uh, so Connor Lawless in the lead position, Drake Bianski in the chase position. Yeah, just giving a little bit of a chase there. Uh, Connor using the entire track with the uh, lack Connor's of horsepower there, there, but he's getting yeah. out there. And then Drake uh, sucking in, cutting yeah. that line to keep up with Connor and uh, stock, pretty much stock power G35. So we'll see. Uh, he's parking the bus there behind him. So we'll see what the uh, judges uh, make of that call. Neither follow was fantastic, to be honest. Well, what an um, upset. You know, Drake Bianski had the third position, and they're going to give it to Connor Lawless. Connor, Connor Lawless. Lawless moves on to the 16. Wow. That is awesome. I would say that that was contributed to more of what the judges wanted to see. The judges want to see all of the outer zones. There are no inside clips here. 
Therefore, if you are getting out to the outside zone and maintaining angle and speed, it's on the chase driver to mess up. You know what I mean? So, uh, Connor did a little bit of a better job just getting out there. And uh, I would say that Drake coming off of the bank into the last hairpin turn was probably what the judges were looking at. And to see a, a 1J swap, 5-speed swap, uh, Q45, like that, that's just something you don't see every day. So the fact that that is, you know, pretty much what we're looking at. like Absolutely. And we're on to the next battle where Connor Lawless is already kind of taking off on TJ Walker. Um, of course, Connor Lawless, a rookie, you could call him, but he's, uh, you know, having a good time, has had a little experience here driving the aggressive events like No Star Bash oh, for sure. and just having a good time. And, you know, he, he's just looking forward. You know, we tell guys, look forward. Don't worry about what's going on behind you. Let him worry about that. That and he, he sought out a lot of help from, like, people who have ran this track or just done drifting in general for a very long time. Yeah, like young guy. Early, like, kid can't even drink a Miller Lite. Like, <laughs> a Miller Lite. Yeah. yeah, I can't wait to, uh, you know, get my drink on later on. We're going to be celebrating B-Wag's birthday. B-Wag so it's, a, it's a good, It's a good time. So Nothing but pizza. Sending a big hello to everyone out there on the internet. <laughs> Hashtag D-I-S-L. Here we go. We're flipping it around. TJ Walker All is right. taking the lead. And then we have Connor Lawless giving chase. TJ whipping it in there. Uh, TJ, a local guy as well. He he has the flatbed trailer that's pulled a lot of people off track, so it's great to see him out here. Uh, Connor in, in chase. TJ running a pretty good line. Uh, getting up there to the bank. Both, both of these are stock-powered cars. No power adders, no, you know, crazy swap exciting, yeah. or anything like that. Like, both of them just bag in a box they look like they're, cars, they're going know? they're going a billion miles per hour for you guys on the internet 17 million seven 17 miles per hour I, oh, yeah yeah, yeah. wheel the, speed the, the decimal is a little bit different i, I agree Absolutely. So now that'll <laughs> finish that battle going to the judges. We'll have one more battle here in the top 16. So we'll see who gets the win here. If Connor Lawless in the G35 or is it TJ Walker in the BMW? Going to the judges. All right. Maybe it's a tough call. <laughs> All right, they're going to go ahead and go with TJ Walker. TJ Walker, Walker gets, gets the win. The, win. the BMW. T nice. Thank you.
probably put it out by the time this video goes out, but um. Yeah, what an insane event. Drift Indy, you guys never disappoint. Absolutely amazing, and uh, I'm so glad the weather held up. It was supposed to rain all weekend, and never fun driving in the rain, but um, we got caught in a little rainstorm on the way here, but driving is like, when you're actually drifting, some people say, everyone thinks it's gonna be better, but it's really, you have less control and all that, so I don't know, I always prefer dry drifting, but yeah, I'm so glad the weather held up. It was perfect, a little hot, but hey, I'm not complaining with the, uh, the forecast that we had. But uh, yeah, we're heading back to the hotel now and then maybe out to eat some food and then it sounds like there's a little party afterwards. So yeah, I'll see you in a minute. Saw that video I did uh, of them at Final Bout, so it's cool seeing uh, 
a local guy win something, so that's pretty sweet. Some great driving by just about every single driver there. All the cars are cool, everything. Just such a cool event, and uh, Street League is kind of unlike anything else I've been to before. So thanks to the Drift Indy guys for making that possible and uh, for putting on these events for everybody. Thanks to all, uh, all the friends for the good times and for anyone that came up, said hi to the event. Thanks for saying hi, and uh, I think that's gonna do it for this one. I'm gonna put this camera down and drive home. So thanks for watching, guys, and uh, here's to the next event.